My name is Joe Claire. I'm a comedian, I'm a producer, I'm a rapper, I'm an actor, I'm a radio show host, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a dad, I'm a husband, I'm a community leader, I'm an activist, I'm a mentor, and I'm so DC. Creatively, you know, this is the home of the Smithsonian. I grew up down there on that mall on weekends. My dad had to keep us, you know, I go visit on the weekends. He's like, man, I ain't got nothing to do with you. I ain't got no money, we going to the mall. So instead of us spending time on the block, he made us go to the mall. What most people don't know is I went away to college to draw and paint and sculpt. Uh, I, was, I got a scholarship, I got an actual art scholarship to go away to Morgan State University be part of their art department. I found music production a little later in my 20s. And I took a music, music production because for me, I can't, I can't have a, 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 I can't breathe without the creative outlet. If I can't have the, if I don't have that part of my life going on a regular, it, you know, I, I get stifled. Artists flock to DC and, 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 and thrive within DC because our vibe is unique. We have our own style, we have our own music. We have our own culinary traditions. We have our own slang. The DC government actually taking a, an interest in um, servicing and growing and developing the creative economy, I think sends a message to the creative community that this is the place to be in that as comics, as uh, uh, whatever kind of artist you are, a, a, a painter, a singer, a music producer, being in a place where a government is, is giving you a thumbs up and is gonna help you. Oh man, you mean I could pursue my passion and possibly take care of my rent? For an artist, it's a huge plus. It's gigantic, that's it's huge. My name is Joe Claire, and this is 202 Create.